Hello, hello. My name is Mikel Floyd Pruitt. I'm one of the co-directors of Homeworks Bronzeville. Miguel Hill, uh, one of the other uh, co-founders of Homeworks Bronzeville. So, uh, right now we are in Milwaukee in the Bronzeville neighborhood. And this neighborhood is like one of, like used to be the black arts and cultural hub of Milwaukee. Homeworks is an initiative to work with the city and developers to take um, take properties. And right now we're working with city-owned foreclosures like the one behind us and rehab them to create artist-owned live workspaces. So taking these houses that are just sort of sitting here and activating them help just produce uh, you know, more community and culture, and at the same time, the focus on them being artist-owned is so that we don't get displaced after we bring value to, to the neighborhood, um, which was what happened to us from our old art studio, and that's sort of what sparked um, our desire to, uh, to create homeworks. Uh, uh, yeah, so, like, one of the major aspects of it is that uh, as artists, we come in, we make things cool, make them fun to be at, we make them look good. Then, um, as outsiders come in and it starts to generate, like, an economic scene in that area, uh, usually the artists are the first to go because they're priced out or um, through different, like, programming or just different uses of the buildings they were in that uh, we are no longer able to utilize spaces that we made cool originally or made fun or places that now generate revenue in which we take no part in. Uh, just like Mikel stated, uh, we, we made a, a gallery and a studio for artists and it was a thriving pop. And at, at that point, the owner realized that it was uh, <laughs> more lucrative than he had uh, ever anticipated and ever anticipated putting any work into it or any effort nor did he know how to so once he seen what we were doing uh, we were displaced and uh, they brought in someone else from outside the community outside the neighborhood to then uh, feed the profits into they just uh, pretty much uh, redid what we were doing mm -hmm. uh, at a I guess a larger scale financially which yielded uh, more profits, but we were just displaced. We had no uh, recognition and even making it the place that it is now. But uh, with projects like uh, Homeworks Bronzeville, we we're able to uh, be stakeholders in the profits. We we're able to be uh, in these neighborhoods for longer and actually build community, not just for someone else to come in and enjoy that community, but for us to bring in others, uh, other artists, other like-minded individuals who still care about the same things, the arts, the families in the neighborhoods, the, the race, the cultures that are already here. Uh, you don't have to change like, like what's going on in the neighborhood um, to make it like fun. Like they, they're, they're changing everything to like a, a small like cafe or coffee shop gallery when we had like amazing things already happening with poetry, we already had things happening with hip hop music and a stand lot of, up comedy. Yeah, stand up comedy and meetings, those were the things meeting spaces. Yeah. Like. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, honestly, they just displaced the people and uh, take the profit. So with things like this, we were able to kind of combat that at least for a while because the gentrification is happening already. We're just trying to uh, make the the losses for the people already here and the people who built it uh, as minimal as possible so their families can thrive here. We are artists that saw a need that are learning to be developers and it's a steep learning curve. Yeah. <laughs> um, but it, it's, it's, it's totally worthwhile um, and you know looking forward you know so far we've been collaborating with the city you know we've been uh, having various developers as consultants and, and um, you know, moving forward, just looking to like establish more partnerships with 
um, continue the partnership with the city, develop part like new partnerships with businesses and funding sources, and you know, uh, and with the goal of really developing partnership within the neighborhood.